A program to help troubled kids in Rogers County may be forced to close in just one week. The Youth Services Emergency Shelter says it's out of money. Terry Hood explains why counselors are worried that children will be the victims if the shelter closes. That's new at 5. The Rogers County Youth Services Emergency Shelter is a haven for children who have no place to go when their lives are turned upside down. We are a, a gap between uh, the foster care system and the juvenile system. Last year, 98 kids from 8 to 18 were helped at the shelter. They come here for a variety of reasons. Some are victims of abuse, some are in the custody of law enforcement, and some are here because their parents had been arrested and they had no other place to go. It's more than just feeding and housing kids. It's a relationship that we form with these kids. Now, the shelter is counting down to December 15th. That's the day it will close unless it finds another $45,000. We need all the help we can get from whatever source. The hole comes after the county cut the shelter's budget this year by $53,000 and it lost another $10,000 from the United Way. It's very sad that uh, this shelter has been here for 30 years and the numbers of uh, children that have been helped in this facility and it will be no more unless we get the funding. 45000 is only the beginning. That amount would only keep the shelter open to the end of the fiscal year in June. The shelter would need another $78,000 for the next fiscal year. The counselors are worried about what will happen to these kids if it's forced to close. It's more than a job to me. It's what I pour my heart into. It's the kids. Now, the shelter also takes care of children from other counties, including Ottawa County, where a similar shelter in Miami also recently closed. Terry Hood, News on 6.